stop comparing yourself, yo. <sighs> Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen we are back, back in the now. now. I've fallen into the trap of comparing myself again. And um, I gotta be honest, it's not nice. It's not, a, it's not a healthy place to be in. See, if you're trying to do something with your life, trying to level up your, your plane or your business or your, your career path or whatever, the last thing you need is holding yourself to a certain standard that is ridiculous or that that is not you okay for example say two students who graduated um four years apart in in uni the same field they got same accolades same credit score but the person who graduated four years earlier didn't get a job and still struggling still living with his mom got a deadbeat job somewhere and just gave up on his dreams the second student however got out got a job immediately started from the bottom working four years later his somewhere fancy fancy house good family has a car bumps into the friend hey what happened see two things happen one the first person didn't work out enough gave up on his life the second person worked hard didn't give up didn't let the limitations of society hold him back from his dreams he pursued and he was determined and he achieved what he set out to achieve now if you're trying to compare yourself with someone who's more determined to be you or who works hard harder than you or who's, who's at a different level of his career or his, or his dream or his his pursuit of happiness for lack of a better word don't you don't know his story you don't know his upbringing you don't know what they what they were raised it's his time every dog has his day it's his day let him have it let him have his moment all you focus on is you okay focus on you Put all your time and your energy you know it's funny that we allow external forces to dictate how we feel for example and i and i do this all the time every day that i look at my bank account and it's not filled up or if it's not somewhere that i want it to be i just feel this urge to scream at myself right but why why is it that i let that number on a screen determine how happy i can feel if i look around myself i have a roof i have food i have a shower i have water i can breathe i have family i have a mobile device i have all this equipment that i am grateful for and yet a single number that is on a computer screen determines my happiness or my my value in life let's talk about success for a minute see success is very subjective if your success is defined as monetary or material things you will have a lot of problems in your life i'm saying that because i know that my success was monetary it was it was a plaque or it was a bank account number right i i hold the image of being a successful person to that standard and more and more that i do that more and more that i go on this on the journey of like trying to improve myself and trying to be better think better i realize that you don't have to do that it's not money that'll give you happiness and I know people, rich people say, oh, money won't buy you happiness. Give me all your money. Jokes aside, they have a point. And the point is, you need purpose. Everybody needs purpose, okay? If you can find your purpose, you will truly be happy. A lot of people spend their lives looking for their purpose, trying to do what the society tells them, but ends up not, not finding their purpose. You gotta find your purpose, yeah. Anyway, this has been nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's another episode of Let's Chat. 
Yeah. Get you guys on the flip side. Hey, I love you. You are the man. If you made it to this far, bro, you legend.